Hi guys, another deck profile. I am Tom Shovingles here, Sephra. Um, yeah. Get into it. So a Pendulum Magician's got hit, so I built this. Yeah, we, we did go, we did alright from Pendulum Magician's, got a few views on that, and then mm. then the ban list came up literally the day later. Yeah. yeah. Quite annoying. Uh, free Zephraf. Yep. Uh, you don't use his main monster effect. He okay. summons himself from Exeter by tributing your whole board, and that's bad. And he's a big four, three, four, fifty. Uh, but you do use his scale effect. Okay. Because uh, he puts one from deck into um extra deck and copies its scale. Okay. And that's, that's cool. a once per turn effect. Oh yeah, it's big. He's just a big boss monster as well, isn't he? I mean, you don't summon him. Oh, I thought you said you brought him back. I said you don't summon him. Oh, okay. Carry on. You don't use his main monster effect. <laughs> oh, okay. Carry on. Uh, free Zafranu. Yep. Uh, uh, searches. Um... When he's summoned or destroyed. He uh, searches Yang's and or Zephyr's spell or trap. So you can get the nine pillars, basically. You can get nine pillars, you can get Providence, you can get pretty much any card. Fair enough. Uh, three of him. A lot yep. of people have been playing two or even one of him. I like him at three because he's a normal summon that makes oh, him got three, yeah, Electrum. Sorry. Okay. And um... But so basically like the school he, When you pendulum in, he makes stuff tuners, which is nice for a lot of various combos you can do. Do you use him to get the XX saber off? Uh, yes, you can use him to make Calamities. And you can use them to make Chow Fern. Fair enough. Uh, you can also use them to make a uh, Stardust Charge, which nice. is really nice. Because it's really good in that deck. Uh, we run one, one Zephyr out of the way. Uh, it adds them back from extra deck. It's really nice. Nice, nice. Uh, one of each of the Satellanites. Okay. They pop face up and face down cards. So, like, respectively. Yeah. Uh, they're really strong. They help the deck going second. Uh, just really easy at breaking boards, really. Oh, I was saying a high-low scale as well, aren't they? So. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of this one. It's really good in the late game because you just summon stuff back from Grave. Yeah, yeah. nice. Uh, he's also nice for combo extending and making Electrum. Uh, one Dark Worm. You absolutely need to get to this card. Yeah, it's just nice to get him out with the special. Uh, uh, one Gate Zero. It's a searchable yeah. low scale that doesn't restrict your pendulum summoning. yeah. yeah. Uh, most also, he's searchable off Dark Worm, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. All of the uh, Zephyrs say you can only Pendulum Zephyrs or their respective archetype. Uh, one Odd Eye Synchron. Yep. It's nice because it has a lot of combos in the deck, summons from scale to sync, which is really convenient because a lot of the stuff, like a uh, level 2 tuner goes well with Most them. of the time, do you normal summon this? Do you Pendulum it? Uh, it depends on your hand. Okay. But uh, also, you can summon Gate Zero off of this and go into a sync 9. Okay. Uh, two Armageddon Knight. Yeah, I, uh, just I wouldn't play him at three. He's a lot better going second than going first because he oh. sends your Destrudo. Does he send the Dark? Does he send Dark Worm as well? Or? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Dark Worm has to have no monsters on board. Oh, of course, yeah. You send yeah. Destrudo, and you can either make Yazzie or um Black Rose with it. Yep. Either way, it will clear your opponent's board, but Yazzie will go into a Mama, which we also play one off. Uh, Mare Mare summons tokens? Uh, up to thrice per turn. So, so how, you summon this with uh, Yazzie? Uh, yes. And then when it's summoned, it summons three tokens? Uh, no, it's uh, once per turn, up to, sorry, up to thrice per turn. Yeah. So you can just activate it once, twice. Oh, three, three times. times. Uh, and then you use the tokens to what, link? Link off. Or, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, you can occasionally sync with them as well. Uh, free Ash to Ogre. You need to. Uh, you absolutely have to in this deck in specific as well, because you can search them. Okay. Which one? Well, how'd you search them? Uh, first of all, with um, Oracle Zephyr, yep. when you summon Stardust Charge, you can top deck one of them and draw into it. Also, Chow Feng, when he's destroyed, will add one. Okay. Uh, so is that the monster line up here? Yep. Then we go into free Oracle of Zephyr. The yeah. Necessary. It has like five different effects. Um, uh, yeah. Another people, thing. If people are, yeah, people uh, can just look into that themselves, can't they? Yeah. Another thing about um, this deck. Is a lot of the time with set rotation, people will play Oracle of Zephyr because it's a mandatory effect to search. Yep. So uh, playing this deck, you're quite immune to set rotation. Fair enough. Getting locked out by it. Because if they give you Oracle of Zephyr, you can just flip it up and search with it. Nice. Uh, two terraforming, it gets your Oracle. You don't, You wouldn't play three now? Uh, no. Okay. Like, Oracle is really strong to get, but you don't want to see too many because of its uh, hard ones to turn. Okay. Free Providence, it adds any Zephyr card. And it's Return of the Dragon Lord's Engrave. For really Zephyr Monsters? Yeah, yeah, Zephyr cards. Okay. Really, really strong. I've had times where I've, in the late game, I've had a full established board, and so has my opponent, and I've really had to get rid of it. So I've gone into Black Crows to blow up both of our boards, and Providence will save all of mine. That's, that's, that's lovely. That's very lovely. 
Uh, there's also free dragon shrine. Yep. Uh, it sends your dark worm or your destruder. Need to get them in uh, uh, One foolish possible. hits a fourth dragon shrine. Yep. Uh, one reborn. Because we have to. It's yeah. reborn. One nine pillars. You search it. Usually when you're making chow feng. It's also or, searchable, isn't it? Oh yeah, so yeah. it's a searchable in the game. Or basically. when you um, don't have the ability to go into any synchros as well, because you can pop your uh, Zephraxi and he'll search during your opponent's turn. Yeah. Uh, one divine strike. It's a nice follow up to this because you can pop your Zephyr on board, or you can pop your Yang Zing guy on board and then banish it from the extra deck after you've popped it. And one warning. Because it's pretty. Uh, it's nice negates going first. And uh, we play, so that's uh, 41 cards, is it, yeah? Yep. Uh, I, then we play uh, two Electrum. You need to. It, it, brilliant arrows, and it just searches everything. Do you not play um, the a Star Pendulum Graph card? The, the no. Astrograph? Could you? Could you? Uh, you could. I have seen builds with it, but I personally don't like it okay. as much. Then we play one Proxy Dragon. It's just arrows. arrows. One Ib, it's, again, arrows, except yep. it's nice. One Starboy, you go into it with your Mare Mare tokens. Oh, okay. Uh, one Decode. Just Decode. Generic yeah. Link. Yeah. And one Borrow Load. It outs practically everything. Yeah, it just takes big monsters you don't like. Uh, one Baguska. It's good in suboptimal hands. Yeah. One Calamities. It shuts down your opponent's board. Yeah. Uh, there aren't too many hands that can make it, but it's always nice when you can. Well, you've got the Space Mare as well, play it. Yeah. yeah. One Stardust Charge. Yep. Uh, combo with Oracle that... Let's you search hand traps. That's cool. One Yazzie out to your opponent's board, summons Mare Mare. Yep. One Black Rose, it's a board wipe. And then obviously, like you said, you can use Providence Protector yep. and Field. Uh, one Chow Feng, it's yep. one of your go-to synchros because we set up this plus nine pillars. You don't you negate, doesn't it negate effects depending on the attributes uh, it was used You'll only ever get Earth in this deck. Oh, okay. But, um, basically, if you um sit on this and a nine pillars, yep. you can nine pillars away this and after he's nine pillars away, he'll search an Ash Blossom. Oh, that's cool. And suddenly you've just got a second Maybe. negate for no reason. Nice. Uh, one Gotham's, one Cloud Castle. It's the Calamities play. Yeah, Cloud Castle brings back the level nine. And yeah, yeah. What's the X Saber actually do? Or is he just literally uh, a He tributes nine? himself to pitch a card. So is he literally, do you use that effect much? Or? Uh, if you're going for the Calamities play, you always use its effect. Fair enough. Just because it doesn't really matter because you go into Cloud Castle and you bring him back. So, um, yeah, any closing comments on the deck then? Uh, it's really strong. It makes nice boards. Uh, <laughs> if, it, if there's anything in the extra deck, I'd cut it would probably be the Calamities lineup, just because you can have some nice charities targets with the um, deck. Fair enough. Um, so, I've <laughs> played the one Pokemon card, yeah? So, um, oh, yeah. that's the deck profile, guys. Uh, yeah. Just please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.